Hi everyone! So today I just wanted to talk about something that's come to my attention quite a lot recently and I've spoken to quite a lot of people that have found this area quite difficult especially in the time where we're stuck at home in quarantine and yeah just on social media and through friends and stuff like that it's something that I feel like people struggle with quite a lot and that is being motivated and having enthusiasm and there's like several different areas that I want to cover with this and I'm not saying like that this will be the solution for everyone but this is just some things that I've found have been really helpful for me and have worked for me in the past so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I hope that it helps you so firstly I wanted to talk about being motivated like for others like to do things for others like to serve others or like for like your job say your boss or like someone that you have to do something for so um i thought that colossians 3:23 like fit in quite well with this because it says whatever you do work at it with all your heart as working for the lord and not for human masters so first of all we need to see every task that we do as important and ultimately that we it's God that we are serving by serving that other person. So when I like do something that I'm not like, I don't really want to do or don't feel happy about doing, I always like just think, how would Jesus handle this situation? Like what would his take be on it? What would his mindset be? Like, I don't always think this, but I like, I try to think that to make myself think of it from that perspective. Another way to motivate yourself through this is stop and think of all the things that Jesus has done for you. Like I think, oh, what has Jesus done for me in the past? He's done so much for me. So how can I give back to him in a sense, you know? So I just remind myself that he's like so worthy of all of my efforts because whatever I do could never measure up to what he has done for me. So I'm like, if I can do something to please him, like in the slightest, this will motivate me a lot and like how would jesus want to bless this person because of course like that person is god's child and he loves them and he wants them to be happy he wants to bless them whoever they are so i think how would he treat that person how would he want to bless that person and then from that i'm like okay how can i bless this person and how would god want them to feel and how can i contribute towards that this also reminded me of Matthew 25 verse 40, which says that Jesus said, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters, you did for me. So what we do for one of our brothers and sisters in Christ, we do for the Lord, because it's like, like I said before, like whatever we do for that person, we are doing for him. I also think that thinking about the outcome of the whole situation, like the end result or the goal, like how happy will this make the person? How will this make them feel? Like what will our relationship be like? How will this strengthen our relationship or strengthen our trust between each other after I've done this? Like how will this help for, like between us? And also I think that doing these things for other people, even like even if it's just like your job, say doing something for your boss, like it's like gives you a sense of fulfillment. So after you've done it, this will actually make you feel fulfilled because ultimately Jesus came to serve, not to be served. He had a servant heart. So it's good for us to be like him because that's our goal to be like Jesus because Jesus was like the perfect person. So in doing this, this is like acting out our true nature of like how cre God created us to be so it's like we actually feel at home like we feel at home by acting out this because this is how we were created to be I also believe that if there's someone that's like you find that there's a recurring problem with a particular person that you find it really hard like you really don't want to do something for them like a particular person that might mean that you like have some issues with that person like underlying problems that you need to resolve in order to feel better about them and to feel like you actually want to do something for them so maybe for instance they did something to upset you or to hurt you or they just have like a personality trait that you feel isn't nice or like 
you don't agree with or kind of upsets you so or anything like that really so like if that's the case then you might need to forgive them for that hurt like for causing you to feel like not at peace to feel hurt by them to feel like they've got something against you even though they might not have so you don't actually have to say anything to the person well you might do but not all the time you don't always have to say to the person that you forgive them because it's just something that you do like in your heart like to yourself you're like okay like you make the decision for yourself you're like okay i'm going to forgive this person even though they've hurt me i'm going to choose to act out of love towards them and i know sometimes that can be really hard <laughs> because like it's really hard to love people that we don't get along with as easily as other people so you might need to like pray and ask God like God I'm really struggling to get along with this person I don't feel love towards them I don't feel like I want to help them out or do anything for them and just say God would you help me to forgive them and to see them through your eyes how you see them and to act out of love towards them and then that will 98% of the time <laughs> make you feel better about them and enable you to act out of love and also you might just need to take the steps for yourself it it will be hard at first but like as you gradually carry on with those steps acting out of love towards them it will gradually become easier and then it will just become the new normal for you you can also ask God to give you grace for people that you find difficult to be around or to serve because sometimes we have a lot of people who like are very different to us or like do things the way that we wouldn't do them it can be difficult for us to want to do something for them so we can just pray and be like god can you give me some extra grace for this person and enable me to love them and just act out how you would want me to act towards them if that makes sense and he will for sure help you with that i've done this before and not gonna lie it took a while with some people but and i had to make the effort as well but after a while it actually did work and it was actually really good in the end i ended up getting along much better with the people and actually having a friendship with them which was amazing <laughs> okay so secondly i just want to talk about being motivated for yourself so i find this can be the most difficult one because i don't know why but this is the most difficult <laughs> So firstly, this is really, this is an important point I find. I just label this as wake up and declare because that's just what I do. <laughs> and it works, so, well for me anyway, but you can try it. So first thing in the morning, like I don't know if this is a thing with everyone, but a few people that I have spoke to and asked them about it, they agree with this. So I think it's quite common that in the morning, like first thing in the morning, this is like a time where your mind is the most vulnerable to negative thoughts. So like we have less energy in the mornings most of the time and less enthusiasm. So I find that this can be the hardest time to snap out of a negative mindset and to like stand against those thoughts and this is what i love i love 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 to read 2 corinthians 12 9 which says my grace is sufficient for you my power is made perfect in your weakness so that the power of christ may rest upon me i just love this scripture so much it just gives me so much life <laughs> so the fact it says my grace is sufficient for you this this like means my grace is enough, my grace is adequate, my grace is just the right amount for you. Like this is like, I think of a cup, like a glass of water being filled to the brim. It's like just the right amount that we need. And this is just so amazing. <laughs> so this is basically saying that Christ is with us all the time. Christ is in us, Christ is for us. Christ is powerful in us and he is with us and in our weakness he is strong and if he's in us when we are weak his strength is like coming through in us so this can be difficult like I find this difficult sometimes but it's like where is your focus like also the bible says the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak so obviously our mind is like weak in the morning sometimes and like 
we're like, okay, I don't want to do this, I can't do this, but then we remember who Christ says we are, and Christ says that he's, he's powerful in us, like his grace is sufficient for us, his grace is the perfect amount, it's just the right amount for us, he's enough, so when you think about this, it's like, wow, if this is the case, then surely I've got enough strength, I've got enough, I can do anything, because Christ is in me, for me, and helping me, so what, what can I not do, there's nothing that we can't do, because if you think about Jesus, there is nothing that he can't do. So that's what I remind myself of and that just motivates me so much. I'm like, wow, God, you can do anything and you're with me. So what is there that I can't do, you know? So I just think it's so, 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 so important to remind ourselves that the power of Christ, the power of Christ is in us and he makes us strong and that's that is all you need to know first thing in the morning really isn't it <laughs> so yeah even in scripture like there's so much encouragement for these kind of things like it's everywhere literally you can't miss it really it's everywhere and i also believe in the power of your words so like these scriptures if you like read them to yourself in the morning just even if you keep reading it over and over and over and over until you feel how you want to feel you know because there's power there's power in your words like death and life is in the power of the tongue so what we speak is going to come into being well that's what I believe anyway so if you're speaking positive things and declaring scripture over yourself first thing in the morning even if you have to stand up walk around wave your arms around <laughs> whatever you need to do to get yourself motivated and just speak out these positive and encouraging things over yourself and over how Jesus is in you and with you and for you and he gives you strength. The power of Christ is with us, in us. And just keep saying that and then you, I think you'll find that he will just show up and he will just give you so much encouragement and enthusiasm and that will just be, that's all you need, that's just, that will just be all that you need to start your day. <laughs> Yeah, so really God can enable us to find joy in everything that we do, like whatever it might be. Oftentimes, like when I don't want to do something, I'll just pray and ask God, God help me to enjoy this, give me motivation for this, give me a love for doing this thing. And then it often, most of the time, I begin to enjoy it or like it might take time and take practical steps at the same time, but that does work 99% of the time. <laughs> So now I just want to talk about some things that will help being motivated in the long run. Well, this is what I have found helped me in the long run, rather than just like temporary. So these are some steps that I take. So first, I would make sure that I'm taking care of my body. So this is like basics, like just getting enough sleep and like actually finding out how many hours sleep you need, not oversleeping, like just the right amount so that you're not going to be really tired in the morning and drinking a lot of water that's an essential that really helps me just feel very awake and energized um exercise <laughs> i can't stress this enough this is such an important factor if i don't exercise i feel tired and like I can't be bothered to do things and just i can really tell the difference like maybe it affects some people more than others but I just find this is like really important and also I think that um doing something that you love in the morning is a really great idea even if it's just like having your favorite food or your favorite drink your favorite coffee just waking up in the morning and having like that thing to look forward to that makes you want to get out of bed and do that thing or even if it's just like if you love to go for a run maybe that's not as common but <laughs> if you love to run just just do that every morning and be like I can't wait to start my day because I get to go for a run or if it's like doing some home workout that you love doing or taking a dog for a walk just things like that something that you can look forward to in the morning whatever it is anything that's going to motivate you to get up and start your day this makes me think of um the scriptures that um say that our body is a temple of the holy spirit and obviously we want to take care of Holy Spirit <laughs> because we love Holy Spirit and yeah I'm just like would Holy Spirit want to dwell in a body that's like not being taken care of not being like 
not being healthy well he will still be with you obviously it's not like that but i just think because i love holy spirit i want the holy spirit so i'm like i want to take care of his dwelling place you know that is that could be just a personal point but that's just also something that helps me <laughs> also a point that helps me being motivated in the long run is spending time with god often <laughs> often because you just because every day you can because why would you not <laughs> it's just great i just love spending time with god this might not be a point for everyone like i get it not everyone believes the same thing that's fine that's absolutely fine but this is like it's like our body our physical body needs food like we need to eat we need to drink take care of our physical body but our spirit also needs food and yeah so spending time with god is actually like food for your spirit it's like it fills you up it makes you feel fulfilled it just it kind of for me it fulfills all my positive emotions it takes away all the negativity for me and i just feel like this gives me like the refreshing that i need and just gives me that joy like and motivation to get things done and just it just makes me a nicer person to be around <laughs> it just makes me in a better mood as well which is great for the people that i live with so spending time with God can be like a lot of different things but some things that I do is like talking to God, listening to God, like what God has to say to us and then praising him like worship like with music or just singing or playing an instrument things like that um, or just thanking him for things that you're thankful for. I think that's a really important point to like replenish your joy just being thankful just even writing a list of all the things that you're thankful for can be a big motivator even in itself um yeah just being still in his presence just maybe put on some soaking music or just just like take some time close your eyes and just be still before god that's all you need sometimes and he'll just meet you there and just fill you up again <laughs> And if you've not done any of those things before, that's fine. Like, that's completely fine. You don't have to, like, rush and do all those things. Like, if you don't want to, maybe just one thing stands out to you. Maybe you really like music and you're quite a musical person. So the worship thing, like, put on some worship music. If that really stands out to you, that's fine. God will meet you in anything that you do in any of these things or any other way that you want, like, where you want to commune with him. Like, he loves you. He wants to be with you. He wants to meet you in any way that you're willing. <laughs> And I personally found without doing these steps and especially without spending time with God often, which I didn't do until like a couple of years back. So I found without doing that, I became very drained, like not in my physical body in a sense, but like just I just felt very demotivated and like kind of lazy in a sense. Like I couldn't be bothered to do things. Whereas if I do that, I feel much more motivated, if that makes sense. Yeah, and Psalm sixteen eleven says, In your presence there is fullness of joy, which is so true. And spending time with God just makes you feel so joyful and just brings so much joy and peace to your spirit. It's just amazing, we love it. <laughs> so I personally like to start my day with this before I do anything else, because this is like my filling up, my getting refreshed to start the day. So I just do this every morning and I just find that's really, that's really helpful for me. That's something I really love doing. So I thought that Romans 12 to goes quite well with this whole thing, which says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, testing and discerning what is the will of God and what is good and acceptable and perfect. So this is like fixing your mind on good things and positives and fixing your mind on the will of God. What does God want for you? Like what are God's emotions towards you? things like that so for, like to respond to this I kind of pray for like a renewal of the mind for like for God to give me his thoughts which are all good because God is always good like all the time God is good <laughs> so I just pray God give me your thoughts give me positive thoughts give me good thoughts and I just tell all negative thoughts to leave and just choose to not agree with them and then that just really brightens my mood, lifts my mood and just gives me a better day just in general. Also with the whole mind thing, I just feel like 
to wake up in a good mood it's always good like it always helps to go to sleep in a good mood so i find like doing things that are going to benefit me like before i go to bed say like doing something that makes me happy before i go to bed or like reading a word like reading encouraging things that were lifting things and not like say not like going on my phone too much not going on social media as much or like it all depends what you're looking at i guess but like or like spending time with family or just something something that's relaxing something that's peaceful calming and happy if you do like those things and obviously i pray before i go to bed as well so if we focus on these things before we go to bed and that's how we go to sleep in that posture then that is going to help you wake up in a better mood most of the time but i found anyway <laughs> yeah so yeah you're going to wake up in a better mood if you go to sleep in a good mood if that makes sense the next way that i find can motivate you is by having and setting goals so ultimately goals do motivate you having something that you want to achieve like knowing what you want to achieve making a list of things that you want to get done even like a to-do list in a sense like even if it's like if it's every day or like a weekly list and um just getting these things completed even if it's a long-term goal as well but i think personally i just think it's important to have short-term goals as well as long-term goals because that is going to give you more of a sense of fulfillment like every day or every week rather than just feeling feeling fulfilled when you've done that one long-term goal so you can make like a checklist because i think that like seeing ticks like on the list like physically seeing like the ticks that you finish these tasks or like whatever you've got on your list that is going to make you feel more fulfilled and like feel better about yourself if that makes sense so yeah just making goals making things to achieve that is going to motivate you but also with this one i think you have to be quite gracious with yourself because um in the past i've like really not been good with this so this is something that i had to work on for quite a while because i was quite bad with overworking myself to the point of becoming like stressed and getting physically ill because i was overworking myself and stressing myself out too much <laughs> because yeah i'm quite like a hard working person and like i like to get things done but yeah it's not always healthy in that way because um if there's something you really want to work on you don't have to like overwork yourself to get it done because this will like this will have a bad end result like being drained and exhausted of course like and that is something that you really don't want to deal with <laughs> so yeah if you say if you want to get a book finished or like get a assignment finished or like a job finished or something like that then it's always healthier to have like boundaries with your time and like how much time you're giving to things so say you set yourself a 30 minutes to an hour of reading a day and then you take a break or like that's all you do if that's all you can handle before you become tired or whatever that's fine like just make sure you get rest after that amount of time and you're not overworking yourself because that's going to make you feel tired and drained and that's going to make you feel more demotivated <laughs> and i find like varying your daily and weekly tasks like if you just got like book work or computer work to do i wouldn't like well for me i wouldn't do that the whole day or the whole week i'd like do some different tasks in between like i'd do some physical things in between to like break it up a bit and just to make it a bit more varied and a bit more enjoyable because i find that i get bored quite easily from just doing a lot of sit down like paperwork or computer work so yeah just keep it fun and keep it relax make sure you're taking breaks like enough breaks that you need everyone's different everyone needs a different amount of time for break so yeah just having healthy time boundaries and just being gracious with yourself and not taking on too much work like that you can't handle like you know for yourself normally how much work you can manage and like if other people are asking you to do things as well like if someone's asking you to do a favor like not taking on too much responsibility like taking on a lot of people's problems because it's going to become like quite heavy on you and be like it will cause you to feel under pressure so it's good to sometimes you have to decline people's like people's ask because 
it can be too much to take on for you and it's not going to be healthy for you but you know in yourself how much you can handle so that's like a personal choice and finally i love this one self-care <laughs> we love self-care there's a lot of methods of self-care so everyone is different again everyone has different methods of self-care whether it be like taking a relaxing evening taking a bath doing a face mask reading just taking like a nap going outside for a walk, listening to your favourite music, like whatever you love to do, whatever relaxes you, whatever makes your mind feel relaxed and at peace, then do that <laughs> because you need to rest your brain and your eyes obviously from work and things that are making you feel stressed or like, like you've been working quite hard so you need to take that time to take care of yourself and yeah and just get renewed and refreshed because if you don't take that time you can become again you can become quite drained and that's going to make you feel very demotivated and not want to do like your work or the jobs that you've got to get done so some people obviously don't have as much time as others for this but just making sure that you make time for yourself to take care of yourself and just to do things that you love is going to create a healthy balance so that that will help you to be able to be more motivated and also if you are a person that is around people quite a lot or like if your job involves talking to a lot of people doing things for people a lot and serving people a lot you might need to um say if you're feeling quite drained and demotivated you might need to take some more alone time because obviously there's introverts and extroverts everyone needs a different amount of alone time some people need more than others but yeah, I just find just taking the amount of alone time that you need, like for you, is like a time that will enable you to recharge and just feel more rejuvenated and just get your enthusiasm back. I just want to quickly pray for you guys before I go. So, Father, I thank you for your love and your peace and your joy. Thank you that you're with us and that you help us. I just pray that today you would help us to be able to be motivated and to be able to come into that place of joy you just give us the ability to feel joyful and to be motivated and that you'd forgive us for any negative attitudes or wrong mindsets that we have had and you just help us to love well every day and just bless everyone watching with peace and enthusiasm i just pray that you'd be able to love people well and you'd be able to enjoy everything that you do everything that you've got to get done i pray that you'd enjoy it and have a love for it in jesus name Amen. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this and this was helpful for you. Um, come back soon for more videos and like and subscribe and share if you want. And I'll see you soon. Bye!